Before we get into these questions, hold on. I've got something I want to talk about, but is yours MMA related? Because mine's totally not. Mine is MMA related. All right, go ahead. Okay. Uh, UFC's favorite uh, living troll, Colby Covington. Oh, God. Go on. Yeah, he tweeted out, well, two things regard, regarding Colby Covington. Number one, I guess they, they came up with a judgment regarding the. $600. Yeah. That's what Verdun got fined for throwing the boomerang at um at uh, Colby Covington. And I just want to say one thing. God bless Australia. Because that's what should happen. Yeah. Because you know, I, I, I hate to say, but I fear that in this country, had a high level UFC guy throw a boomerang at another person's head, it would go on for a long, long time and <laughs> there would be a ton of money involved and it cost a ton of money in legal fees and it would drag on and all the rest of it. Australia they went, yeah, all right, whatever. Couple of knuckleheads, the dickheads, one of them threw a boomerang, whatever. Give him six hundred dollars and uh and shut the hell up. Bear in mind that uh Aussie dollar to Australian dollar is almost two to one. So it's almost like three hundred dollars. So it's not a lot of cash. Which I think by the way, there wasn't any real injuries. I think it was the correct the correct move. Yeah, I got no problem with it. It was fine, you I think know. It's perfect. I think it's great. I think good for them, and I think that's a shining light to a lot of other legal systems around the world. Now, of course, you know you shouldn't be uh, assaulting people, but you know, keep it in context. Keep it in context. It's two guys that choose to fight in a cage for a living. No one got hurt. There wasn't even any injuries. There was no cuts. There was no stitches. There was no ambulance. They caused a little ruckus. They caused a little scene. One guy got fined six hundred dollars. There you go. Bish bash bosh. That's how it should be done. Well, the other thing with Colby is he tweeted out. Um, I actually retweeted something this. about the Sanjos, right? No, no, no. He he might have tweeted that out too, but he tweeted out. Um, and this is spoiler alert, guys. Everyone who hasn't seen the Star Wars movie yet, fucking don't listen because I'm about to tell you what Colby oh, Covington did. Yeah, no, I saw that. Yeah, and I haven't seen it, but I do know what happened because. There's a movie producer in England, and I'm going to shame him, called Terry Stone. And I worked with him on a movie called uh, Plastic. And he's an actor, and he's a, he's, a, he's a producer, as I said. And he, he showed this thing on Facebook last night, and it's a woman, like, cutting up with a top. I mean, she's, she's got ample breasts, and they're popping out already. And she cuts up with uh, the, the top with the scissors, and she's just about to ping, and let those bad boys fly out. And it cuts to him, and he says, yeah. Uh, spoiler alert, the new Star Wars movie. And then it, it goes on to uh, say all these spoilers. And I showed it to Callum, who came back from the movies last night watching uh, watching Star Wars. And I said, hey, look at this. Are these the actual spoilers or not? Or is he just having a laugh? And he said, yeah, they are the spoilers. So, Terry, if you're listening, which I highly doubt it, you're a knobhead. <laughs> a what? A knobhead. A knobhead. All right, cut it. <laughs> I didn't know what you said, and you really got a kick out of it. You're a knobhead. You're yeah, a knobhead. But that's it. I mean, that's a friendly insult. That's an English insult yeah. for you. Call someone a knobhead. It's like, you know, it's not too bad. I like Terry. He's a good bloke. But he spoiled the movie. So, yeah. therefore, you're a knobhead. But go on, well, Colby. Colby tweeted out, uh, Luke Skywalker dies. Saved you nerds two hours and 33 minutes of your virgin lives. You're welcome. Try something new. It's ladies night. Get laid. Hashtag Star Wars. Hashtag Last Jedi. Hashtag, hashtag my haters are all virgins. Yeah, no, I saw that. I did see that. Cool. It's or, big news though, isn't it? Let's be honest. Is it? You think it's uh, trying too hard and it's shitty? What do you think? I, I think it's kind of funny. It's hilarious. I think it's kind of funny. Look. Here's the thing. It right? is kind of funny, but it's also a dick move. Yes. You know, I mean, a lot of people, it's just, it, it's just, he's perpetuating this myth now, and he's becoming a little try hard, you know? I mean, yeah, is he that much of a dick? Does he want to get, you know, that much abuse? Does he want to get booed that much? Does he want to get cut on the first uh, possibility? I mean, it's, I mean, I'm hearing rumors that him and Tyron Woodley are going to coach the next Ultimate Fighter. If, if that's the case, and I guess it's kind of worked and paid off for him, but. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know how old he is, but maybe, you know, maturity is a great thing. As you get older, you know, everyone grows up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, look, here's the thing. I think that there's a lot of room for a lot of personalities in MMA. And I think that you need people that are, are at the very least trying to make it interesting. And I think Kobe's he's missed the mark a few times with certain things that he's done. But I also think that he's getting people to talk about him. We, talk, we talked about him a decent amount on this show. Other people are talking about him. He's sort of trolling... 
you know, everyone, whether you're fans of his or not, you know, he's sort of trolling the media. Um, and he's, he's not trolling anyone there. He's just literally spoiling Star Wars for millions of people around the world that uh, have been waiting eagerly for this next installment of the acclaimed movie franchise. Well, I mean, look, he's, he, I don't think he really cares about <laughs> spoiling the movie. I think that he knows by doing that, people are going to talk about either what a dick he is or how hilarious he is. And I think that that's, you know, trolling in, in its purest form. He's just looking to get a reaction out of people. I, you know, I mean, yeah, you're right. You no know, emotional it, connection to it. It's just he's doing it for the sake of it. That's yep. just doing it for the sake of it. Do you know what I mean? Kobe's just, you know, and I'm not trying to hate on him. I've never met him. He might be a really good guy, but he's just doing that for the sake of it. And that's for the sake of attention, for the sake of people talking about him. How about you keep it in your sphere? You talk about MMA, you go out there, you do your talking with your fist, or you talk about your opponent or what's coming up next. Don't just start trying to be a dick for the sake of being a dick. And, you know, that might sound rich coming from me because I've certainly been a dick for the sake of being a dick sometimes. But, um, you know, I, I try not to too much. But that's got nothing to do with MMA. That's just taking to Twitter on a Saturday night or a Sunday night, whenever it was, and just trying to be an asshole and trying to get people against you. You know what I mean? Yeah, but look, once again, dude, you just said it yourself. He might be coaching the next season of The Ultimate Fighter. You know, if people are talking about him, yeah, he's getting... I don't think that, that, that it didn't hang in the balance on whether or not he tweeted about Star Wars. I think that was already... A, well, if it is happening, I think that was already well in the way to uh, him talking about Kylo Ren. Mm, yeah, but i got to be honest with you. I think it's all because he's the type of guy that would tweet out the spoiler to Star Wars. Right, you're right. You're right. Callum, how do you feel about people talking about Star Wars spoilers? Callum says it's terrible. It's and Callum says it. He is a finely balanced young man. You know, this isn't coming from me that's been pushed in the head a million times. This is from um, a, a, a grade A specimen, a finely balanced young man. And he says, what is it, Callum? Terrible. 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 You know? And that was another edition of Dad, You Got It Wrong with Callum Bisping. <laughs> Exactly. Anyway, I'm done with Colby Covington. I'm done with talking. In fact, I'm not done with talking about Star Wars. I am a big Star Wars fan. Um, I'm looking forward to this new one. Daz Morris, uh, Thai boxing coach from Manchester, he told me that the latest installment, by the way, and of course the franchise is now owned by the Disney Corporation, he said, it's good, but it's very Disney. And I'm like, oh, crap, they didn't do that, did they? They didn't chidify it for want of a better word and he said yeah totally disney but callum went to watch it and he said it isn't disney so uh i'm very much looking forward to that um i've, I've made some changes or restrictions to my diet lately lewis yeah i don't know what they are um one thing in particular i have i'm trying to eradicate pork from my diet no more pork no more pork. Why not? Well, I would never dream of eating dog. You know what I mean? Never dream of eating dog because dogs are intelligent animals. They have personality. All dogs are different. And, of course, they eat dogs in places like Korea and possibly still in some parts of China as well. And you, you think that's just terrible, don't you? But then with social media and the Internet and all this uh, wealth of information at your fingertips, you learn things without experiencing them like i don't go down to a farm and socialize with a bunch of pigs but it turns out that pigs are very very intelligent animals and apparently on par with a dog and all pigs well many pigs have many many different types of personality and this and that and then i started investigating this and the more i investigated it, it turned out more to be true and if that is true then really I, I think there's enough other food sources in the world without eating pigs. If they if they if they are as intelligent as a dog, and they have souls and feelings and personalities and this and that, then fuck it, we'll kill the cows. <laughs> we'll stick to cows instead. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying, Lewis? How do you feel about that? Well, no, I, you could have just. I mean, you could have just said you're gay now. I didn't realize that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm half vegan. I didn't realize that you're fucking... <laughs> of course, like any typical vegan, I've got to talk about it. No, I'm not vegan at all. But just, just hearing all that about the cows, I feel sorry for them. And I don't think, if that is true, and whilst they are an abundant...